Hi everybody, it's Barbara. Today I'm going to show you how I made this amazing card using the camouflage technique. First of all, I started off by stamping an image from the new Distressed Patterns stamp set from My Favorite Things. And then I did some watercoloring on it with um, Peerless watercolors. I also used a couple of the splatter patterns from Distressed Patterns stamp set. You're going to be seeing a lot of that from me. I absolutely adore this set. But anyway, so then I went ahead and die cut um, the amazing from um, the doubly amazing dynamic set. And I stamped the sentiment at the bottom from the amazing stamp set. So once I did, uh, that's my card front, once I got that cut out, and since I want to, for my camouflage technique, I like to pop up uh, the word instead of just um, putting it down in the opening and leaving it, I like to pop it up. So I've cut um, a copy of it using Sweet Tooth cardstock just to fill in the opening. And then I've cut two pieces of um, black licorice cardstock using the same die and that's going to uh, be what pops it up for me and you're going to be able to see that black layer um, when you turn the card up. I really like that look rather than just having the all white. I've done it that way but I'm really liking this black there. It um, just adds a nice pop of um, contrast. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the Sweet Tooth copy into the opening and you're going to tape it very securely from the back to keep it in place. Now you need to keep all of the little pieces that come out of the openings of the letters like the center of the A, the center of the G, and the loop of the G, and the Z, etc, etc. You need to keep all those little pieces because they're going to have to go back in. So what, um, with the tape in place, all you have to do is just set them in place and make sure you press down really, really firmly and they'll stay. Now that is, um, the eye, the dot for the eye, however, is part of the word. So it needs to be layered just like the word is layered. So I'm first going to put in the sweet tooth. And then for all the other openings, I'm going to uh, replace the stamped uh, pieces with the um, watercolor and some of them actually have some stamping on them so you have to line that up so that it looks like um, that wasn't cut out so I'm getting all the little pieces in and it's a little bit tedious just um, to get these in for this step but that's definitely the the most tedious part of the whole process and it's a really really effective look now up in the loop of that Z is a tiny, tiny little opening, um, and that little piece didn't want to stay around, but I corralled it, and it is going in place. Once you get all those little pieces in, you need to make sure that you press everything down really firmly onto your tape from the back so they don't fall out, because they're going to show through the raised up, your dimensional die cut word. And now I'm taking a quickie glue pen to um, adhere my die cuts. And um, you can use any liquid glue you want, any, anything that will, um, you know, the point will fit down into um, the area on your die cut. You don't want it to um, get off into your card base, obviously, but um, any, any kind of glue that um, you favor. Um, certainly go for it. I like the quickie glue pen because I like the tiny point that will go in tiny spaces. So now I'm about ready to put my first black layer on and when I get that in place I'm going to need to make sure that it is lined up pretty perfectly. You will still be able to see just a tad of the white showing underneath it simply because it is raised up but you need to line that up really really well um, thus the headshot sorry but I needed to be able to see it and I wanted you to be able to see too and of course the black layer um, or the first black layer for the um, dot of the eye needs to go in place 
And once that's done and everything is lined up perfectly and you're satisfied with it, then um, we will go back now and add the next layer of black. While the glue is a little bit wet, you can move it around um, pretty easily. So now the same way, just cover um, most of your letters with, and I always turn it over and press really hard from the back to make sure everything is seated once it's um, where I want it to be. So now I am color, um, <laughs> putting glue on that layer and um, while I'm doing that, I just wonder if you guys have used the Peerless watercolors. I absolutely love them for backgrounds. They are so intense and so concentrated that you can get these really bright, vivid backgrounds. I love my MFT inks for doing backgrounds, but I will have to say that the Peerless gives me um, more color without having to uh, reapply than anything else. And of course, for watercoloring small images, I still like my Zig um, Clean Color Markers but for larger background areas the Peerless have really won my heart. So now I'm applying the um, second layer of the black licorice cutout and making sure that that is all in place, all lined up and firmly where it belongs. And now the really fun part is we're going to do it all over again before we add our stamped and colored copy of um, the die cut. And that's when you will see it. Now it's pretty amazing with just the black right there, don't you think? I mean, I love it just like that. But that was not my intent, so we're not going to stop there. What we're going to do is um, get all the ink on here, and then we're going to add our um, stamped and colored copy on top of this. So it will be popped up um, three layers that gives you good dimension, but it's not so bulky that it won't just go in a regular uh, envelope. And it really, I, I think it really has a wow factor. I really love this technique, especially with the black underneath. And of course you could use any color depending on what your, um, your car design is. But since um, I'm using a lot of black on this, I thought that that was the way I should go with that. You could certainly use white. White would look good too. But I wanted that little pop of contrast that the black provides. So now that is all nailed down. And just look, I really love this. You will be seeing this more from me too. Now you see how the card is warped a little bit? That was from the watercoloring. And I'm going to show you how to fix that. Um, it's not a problem at all. So I'm going to be mounting this um, with uh, dimensional tape onto a card base. Now when I do that, to straighten the card out, I'll put down one end and then I'll pull slightly on the tape before I um, put it down on the other end. And that will flatten that card right out. So now the next step will be to remove my backing from the tape, put it onto my card base and this is my favorite things stone gray card base. Nail that puppy down and we're done. And I really really love this technique and I hope you'll try it. Thanks so much for stopping by. See you again soon.